But instead, how does he think? How does Allah Taala think the idol from the jibu? Yantaziruhu minhu. But instead, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala take the idol from them. مع قبض العلماء العلمي. When the علماء they are taken away to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala by the death. قبض means by taking the souls of the علماء. By the death of the علماء with their علم. What makes the alim alim is by the knowledge that he has. And the death of the alim is a calamity. Because when the alim dies, the ilm of this alim dies with him. Our ilm is not in the books, otherwise we are living in a time when there was nothing the like of it before. Not just books, we have it in something very small, you can have thousands and thousands of books. That does not make the ilm. The ilm is not just books, the ilm needs men, needs human beings. So these human beings, these ulama that have the knowledge, and as we heard before and as we agreed before, that the alim, the scholar of the deen, is not the one that has the most information. It's not like in the secular world that a person is a PhD in something, that he is the scholar in this particular knowledge, right? And then after he finishes his work in the university, for example, and his research and everything, he goes home and he eats and drinks and he has his own uh, personal life and then he works from this is in that life but in the matters of the deen the alim is the one that has the knowledge and he applies this knowledge in his life the most among the people that imitates the Prophet ﷺ. the best the most among the people that you would see him having the knowledge and as a result of that he's applying this knowledge because the Prophet ﷺ said the ulama are the inheritors of the prophets. So the alim cannot be something other than uh, the most among the people that imitates the Prophet ﷺ because he has this knowledge. And that's why we need to really, uh, this is very important, why? Because we need to make sure that we uh, know the ulama. We need to make sure that we don't uh, say that if anybody that has any form of knowledge, he becomes a alim. Or anyone that can speak to the people, he becomes a alim. Or anybody that can entertain the people with matters of deen, uh, stories and things like that, he becomes a alim. This is one of the miseries that we're living nowadays. Uh, outside appearance, inside speech, actions, and with amount of knowledge that the person would spend his life in knowledge. Not part time type of thing. As they say in the ilm, well, it has to have a talatul. A talatul is when the person is secluded from it. This is his life. He's sitting, standing, living. It's all about the ilm, about the knowledge of the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet. So, anyway, so the way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take away the knowledge from the people is by the death of the Quran. So, as a result of that, before we go further, the death of the alim is a musibah, it's a calamity. We have to see that. Because ilm dies with him, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most merciful. Uh, this ummah, this nation of the Prophet is a mercy, that mercy is the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with them. It always brings the ulama, the good people, inshaAllah ta'ala, by the will of Allah. But it's a bad sign when the ulama dies. And there's not much of the ulama present because of the lack or the less of Allah.